scores his 15th goal in only his 12th game against Montreal since the trade. one nothing Philadelphia. You know, before they even face off at the start of the game, you know John LeClaire is going to do something against the Montreal. Never did we think that he'd have an empty net on a turnover by Andy Moog. But it was uh, set up by Brindamore because he's in there pursuing. So Andy Moog's got to get rid of that puck and slides it and actually didn't shoot it hard enough and put it right on the, the stick of John LeClaire. And he puts goal number two of the season in an empty net and a one nothing flyer lead. Wow. <laughs> Here you are. I want to see if you can hit the empty I net. Yes. <laughs> John LeClaire. Getting a gift there, he takes advantage of it. As you said, Brindamore deserves some credit for forcing Moog to hurry, but Eddie Moog, just a bad play there, and Leclerc is his second of the year. As I mentioned, this is the 12th game he's played as a member of the Flyers against the Canadians, and he scores again. Now 15 goals for Leclerc and five assists, so he has 20 points in 12 games against Montreal. I mean, he has just loved to come back and haunt his ex-team. That's getting it done, isn't it? They have easily outscored the Canadians, and look at the numbers. The, the two Flyers, of course, Gilbert Diaz has moved on, but Leclerc and Desjardins have outscored Recky 18-1 to in the head-to-head -head matchups. It's been a bit one-sided. Leclerc adding number 15 here tonight. It is total, and Mark Recky having an outstanding start and a fine player in his own right, but Flyers are certainly happy. Of course, the decision here would be whether or not the puck goes into the crease first. Now well, we just... It is under review. Keep our uh, eyes open here. Uh, I think the puck was in the crease first, and then the Flyers followed it in. You can do that. Now, was it Zubris that got the last shot at that one? Could have been. I have no idea. They'll need that replay to find out who scored the goal as well as whether it was a goal. <laughs> and... Uh... Well, the officials have made the call upstairs. So now it's a matter of... See, the puck's in the crease right there. Now you can go and get it. Yeah, it was Zubris. Definitely Zubris that, that ended up scoring that goal. Leclerc tips it there. See, Zubris can go and in. Oh, well, I think it might have been across <laughs> the goal line before Zubris rammed it in. In that case, it would be Leclerc's goal, but it definitely should be a goal. And it is. Yeah. They ruled it is a goal. Well, see if we can pick it up from this... Vantage point right here. Oh, <laughs> Zuby took it away from John LeClaire, perhaps. The goal post the, was in the way. <laughs> hey, when the puck is just sliding like that, somebody uh, yeah. fired in. You Ram can't wait in. for that puck Absolutely. to cross over the line. And not announced who scored, but it is a goal, and so it's a 2-2 game. Flyers come right back to tie it up. Less than three minutes after the Canadians have taken the lead. The net, he fights his way from that check, gets in front. Gets banged down from his knees on his perfect setup from Lindros. He still puts it high. And watch, that. watch him, I believe, move his left leg to get out of the crease before the puck comes in. Well, you keep saying you better be aware of the crease is, so I'm sure that by now all the players understand that you better do it. He's in, now he hops now out. out. Now watch, he drags Lindros. that left skate. Look at that. <laughs> is that wonderful to watch? <laughs> How sweet it is. Boy, what a well clear was Samuelson, and Lindros found him. Hey, he just takes the puck away from Kintel and then just puts it to the other side. Now, let's see. There's the initial save by Moog against Lindros, and Lindros just wins the battle behind the net. Now, keep an eye on Samuelson and LeClaire. And that stick, it looked like it hit the blade of LeClaire's stick and passed Andy Moog. The Flyers lead it 4-2. John LeClaire picking up his first hat-trick of the year. Uh, Canadians have absolutely no answer for the lindros leclaire Zubris line. They are just skating and pounding at will, and there's no way of stopping them. Watch Lindros just to the side of the net, just jamming it over the line. So the beat goes on with this trio.